What is up, y'all? It is your boy, Zani, and I just wanted to welcome you guys to my page. This is my walkthrough slash gameplay channel for more story-driven and just other games that I play outside of Dragon Ball. You can go check out my other channel, Zani the Greatest, uh, for my Dragon Ball content as well. But I wanted to get into one of my favorite games ever, and that's Marvel's Spider-Man, the Marvel Spider-Man series, whatever. Uh, the trilogy or, yeah, the trilogy that they're making, or I guess you could say this is the second part because... Technically, Miles Morales was like a, you know, prequel to this one. Um, yeah, I wanted to cover the breakdown. Guys, this showcase, honestly, the showcase was, uh, was a little 7 out of 10. You know, it wasn't too hype. It wasn't too great, great, you know. But it was definitely some great games, uh, a lot of great games that I wanted to try out and play. But this one was the main event, and boy, they gave us a lot, guys. I wasn't expecting a full gameplay trailer. I was expecting just maybe some, like, I don't know, another cinematic trailer footage or whatever but i guess i'm gonna be showing that as it's leading up into the release so let's get on into this so yeah and a lot of people don't know uh who this guy is his this is craven he is one of spider-man's uh other uh villains um he's got that you know fur fur coat or whatever when he's on his phone and you start to see like the track when you see black cat that's when i kind of like went nuts this is when i saw black crack is i was like oh, okay this is spider-man this is spider-man right i mean y'all obviously the ones who know spider-man know know, know who, who this was from the beginning but really and truly i was like oh yeah this is this is it right so it gets to the part here where he's actually on his phone is where you want to get to is when he stops because before that he says um I was looking for an equal and this is what you found, right? And so now you get to the part where he's like scanning the entire city and he sees all these like people. And then Spider-Man, not only does Spider-Man come up, but the other version of Spider-Man, Black Cat shows up in that picture, if you see it. At Wraith and Prowler pop up. Prowler is, comes from the last game and Tombstone. So all these people pop up in this uh, section. So it really makes me believe like or ask the question, you know, how involved are these other people going to be uh, in terms of like being it with a Spider-Man? And is it going to be like a full what two V what six? You know, what kind of what is he going to gather villains? I don't know. I don't know what the storyline here is going to be, um, you know, to be partaken. That part I do not know. But I do know is that we have our we have our villain set. We have our setting set. So now. We know exactly what's going on. And we get into Queens, New York, everybody. This is the part where, like, you're kind of it's settling in now that this is this is it, right? And and at this point, all I'm thinking is, oh, okay, cool. You know, another cinematic reveal, a cinematic trailer. Okay, cool. More spot more Spider-Man. That's all I really cared about. But again, as you get further, we open up, and I mean I mean open up. As soon as you get into Queens, New York, you get to this scene where Spider-Man bursts out. With his Venom symbiote attachments. Guys, guys, this part had me... Oh, guys, oh my gosh. This part had me really crazy. Like, you guys don't know. I was in I was in my seat just going crazy. Because I was like, yo, what? Already? You just, you just like, what? Just plaster it on us? You dropped one teaser trailer? And this is what... A whole, man, it was crazy. And so, as you get more and more into it... You obviously you get to see him transform into the symbiote form, the symbiote suit with the venom, the venom suit, the venom Spider Man. You didn't, you know, you know, like ah, this, this right here with oh my gosh, like I enjoy the new layout. I do. I enjoy the new layout. It's um, it's different again. I think this is the new layout or um, what you call it, HUD for when you're Venom, and so. With that being said, I enjoyed that little stylistic change to the um, HUD and how it looks. Now, when it comes to the move set, his it's already different. Like he has different moves. Like there's this little uh, blob move where he jumps up in the air and turns into like a little blob, and th th that and, and strikes you. It, it it's a uh, it's very creative. They they did very well with matching um, the Venom. Or incorporating that Venom aspect into Spider-Man in this game. And with that also being said, I like that the webs are actually black and they change color. And just little tidbits like that. Like I said, the movesets are just phenomenal. Phenomenal. And um, the finishers. Now, the finishers when it comes to Venom, that one where he grabs you with his symbiote arms when it stretches out, stretches out is probably the sickest thing 
I've seen in the Spider-Man games. And like I said, this all just gives us the old Spider-Man vibes and just incorporates new tactics, new mechanics, new looks, new feels, new movement, the stuff like the dog attacking you. We haven't really seen stuff like that. That That is really neat. Um, again, this, this is just new, new gameplay, guys. Now, a part I wanted to really stop at is when you get to actually switch to Mar and Miles. Now, now we're setting up for something that I actually have a theory on. We have a theory of that. Later on down the line, Spider-Man games are going to be coming like a multiverse type thing where you can play as different types of Spider-Mans and it incorporates in the stories. I really have that feeling that that's going to be the case, especially with this switching to Miles thing. It gives me that GTA 5 type vibe where you're switching from Franklin and uh, and Trevor and um, to Michael. That vibe right there, switching back and forth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be it's going to have a lot. Um, of fun doing that in the free roam aspect. I'm not sure like if you can roam. If, I'm not sure if the one one Spider Man can roam without the other, but it it looks pretty like again. That's just a pretty neat aspect that they change. Now this is the part of the gameplay where they're showcasing the movement updates, and I am hype, guys. The movement and the transversals and the, the swinging is just well done guys and you fly it looks like you move way faster or like you travel you could travel way faster and the part oh my gosh guys the part i really want to get to now is the gliders so with that speed increase you also have the glider the glider the wingsuit the freaking wingsuit we're getting, we're getting wingsuits like guys we're guys we're actually getting wingsuits in this game and that was one thing that i actually hoped we would get in miles morales but we'll be getting it in Spider-Man 2. And it, this just really opens up the scale of the game. You know, they're adding more transversal and more movement. So they're probably figuring we're going to have to travel either farther or travel faster somewhere, you know. And that's really giving us more options to play with, especially if we're doing like tricks and tips videos or tricks videos. I do a lot of tricks videos on like Instagram and stuff. I'm going to be doing a lot of that with this, of course. And that this is just... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. I just want to go ahead and since we just got the movement covered or the uh, movement down, I want to cover the uh, stealth section. So the stealth section is the part where we all know and love um, about Spider-Man, you know, his stealthiness. This part right here really captures my eye because, again, the HUD has changed or the layout. And it's more colorful. It kind of, it's it's more color keyed, if that makes sense. Specific things are marked out so you don't, you're not looking at just the icon. You're looking at the color of it. So it kind of helps you to, uh, I know in other games, you kind of just look at what the icon was and see what it does. But now it's kind of like there's different color schemes and that represent different things. And I, I think maybe it looks like it might be an option to change it. I don't know. The colors seemed a little bit unorthodox to the to the game so think about what i'm saying right now is like the violet and a lot of stuff i'm not sure how that's really like tying in with the game and the theme you know i'm not again i'm not sure but it seems like what if they have an option where you can customize your your hud as you, you know different colors or whatever i don't know that was just a little tidbit I, I doubt that's the case i'm pretty sure this is probably what it is but you know just you can hope and dream you know whatever you want to any tidbits you want to add. So um, we see, as as we're doing this, we get to see Miles Morales' uh, finishers. And boy, I tell you, he's upgraded his, elect his electric. His electric is now blue. Remember in the, the or the Venom power. Sorry, let's let's be technical here. Let's be, come on, let's, let's know how, let's act like we know what we're talking about. All right, his, his Venom um, power, it, it used to be orange. It used to be orange uh, lightning. Now it's blue lightning. You can tell it's 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 a matured version of it, and that I I kind of already knew that was gonna happen in this. I kind of already knew there was gonna be an evolution with it because the first one it, it was cut three simple things you did with the venom thing, and they were really cool. But now it's like you can attach yourselves the lightning to other other you know AIs, and it's it's really creating again. They they did a lot of good work upgrading everything um so is other things too mixed up with the upgrade so everything's ultimately new but what i wanted to emphasize was that a lot of this game is like spider-man 1 spider-man 2 morphed you know it's kind of like spider-man 1 and spider-man 2 
together like they put they put the games together and so this is the final component and then what i feel they're gonna do is gonna continue it and have a spider-man universe of games you know and i really see them going really far with this you know so this is just my theory or hopes for the game and again as we continue into the trailer again they give you a lot guys they gave you they went and walked you through the first pretty much bit of the story right and then we get into miles morales and he's going into this tunnel we're going to into the other ground spider-man's venom suit when he's like like full form like they together like them together like this is the first time we see them together in one scene you know um and this is just really exciting because it just emphasizes like this is gonna be what we what we hope for i really think it's gonna be what, what we imagined uh this would be so again as we get further into it we get right on into spider-man's um black venom suit and how he goes through his uh you know, the cinematic scenes where he gets through his the plane and whatever, and he actually gets knocked out, and Miles Morales tries to say, you know, hey, you got defenses, or whatever, and he gets knocked out, and they get in there, and then the lizard tries to take out Miles Morales, he goes invisible, he he then, we then go into a scene where he's like skating on the water, and you know, it, it just looks great. Now, I do want to emphasize this, that the graphics gotta be on point. Because the these this looks you know it looks exactly the same as the old Miles Morales, but I know that these graphics they they oh my god they're gonna look so crazy when you actually play it. Like I know they're gonna look crazy when you play it, and um yeah. So then we get into the uh, end of it, and then we get into an interesting scene with Spider Man and Miles, and this makes me really really excited. And I'm gonna tell you why because I feel like there's gonna be a big battle not between a villain. But between Miles and Spider Man, I feel like at some point you might have to fight Spider Man, the Venom version, either one it is. And th this is the reason why, because at the end of the trailer, he goes, um, you know, Miles is, you know, going, or Peter is going down to uh, try to fight the lizard. And, you know, Miles is like, yo, you know, you better be careful. He's got big teeth. And, you know, Peter cockily says, so do I. Peter never really acts like that, and Miles immediately knew that, and he was like, well, you know, he, you know, his friend Ned, you know, acts, well, does he normally act like that? And he's like, no, he does not act like that. So, again, that that really sets up a, three types of story plots that's going on here. You have the Craven storyline, then you have the Miles Morales getting to know Spider-Man and the the... I'm pretty sure we're going to have a session where they actually enjoy their time at saving the city and stuff like that. You get to that, that fun and games part. And then we get to the ending where we actually get to have to try to either fight Spider-Man to save whatever situation we're in or something like that. Overall, guys, I really enjoyed this Spider-Man gameplay reveal. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. This is going to be featured as my first video on this channel. If you want to go check out my other videos on my other channel, I'll play Dragon Ball Z in love with Dragon Ball. So make sure you go check that out. Check those uh, kind of stuff out. This channel will just be for reviews and walkthroughs and reveals. So again, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. We're going to get on some more gaming content. Peace.